Hello everybody, welcome to Brain Pulp. My name is Ed, and we are still in the green hell. Now, in the previous two videos, they've been kind of introductions to the green hell, to the rainforest itself. The last video, the entire video was almost about the quest to find water, some drinkable water, some nice clean drinkable water, and I was able to do that. I was finally able to find a couple coconuts, and I was able to get my hands on some drinkable water and ways to catch the rain, which would give me more drinkable water in the future. Now in this video, there's going to be a different set of tasks, though some of them are going to be kind of similar to the whole getting water thing. And first and foremost is don't die. That's uh, kind of high on my priority list. I'm going to do my best not to die in some horrible way, and there are some horrible ways to die in this particular game. Number two, I need to find more food. Specifically, I need to find carbs and fats, which is something I've never really struggled with finding in my entire life when it comes to food. Uh, but in this game, it's very difficult so far for me to have found anything that provides carbs and provides fat. And I'll need both of those in order to continue existing. Proteins, I do have sort of a lock on. I know I can sort of spear fish, get some fish, that'll give me some protein. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, coconuts did provide a small amount of fat and carbs from what I remember. So, I, I mean, maybe I can just get a whole bunch of coconuts. Who knows? But I would like some other reliable sources of both carbs and fats in the game. Now, speaking of coconuts, the third thing I want to do is I do want to collect more coconuts. I want to collect more coconuts because I would like to be able to collect more rainwater. Another thing I'd like to accomplish is to learn more crafting recipes. Now, I've been doing my best to sort of avoid reading things online about how to do specific things in the game because I want to really try to discover these things as I play. But I may end up having to do that at some point when it comes to the crafting recipes. I'm not sure because learning them seems to be slow going. And there are certain things I definitely want to try to create in this game, so hopefully I'll be able to sort of find things through trial and error, that'd be kind of cool. I also want to explore the area. Specifically, I want to explore the area across that log bridge in the other area where I found the coconuts, but also found the distinct sound of what sound like a rattlesnake. So I do want to sort of like walk over there without getting killed by some sort of creature and find out what sort of resources I can discover over there. The final thing I want to do is I want to figure out some way to protect my fire here so that it is not getting doused every single time it rains. That's kind of an annoying thing to have to sort of like cook things in between rain. So if I can build a structure over top of it or something that also won't catch on fire itself and burn down the entire forest, I think that is definitely something I would like to try to accomplish. Now, much like in the previous video, I'm not going to take you through every single second of everything I do. I'll give you the highlights as I discover new things, find new things, have new encounters. I'll be recording the entire time, but I will not be able to show you every single second of what I do. I'll reserve that for a live stream later on in the future. I would like to stream this game because I have been enjoying it so much and I would like to put a bunch of hours into it continuously. So that would be kind of a fun way to do that where I can sort of chat with you in the meantime. However, I think that is enough talking about what I plan on doing. Now it's time to pick myself up, dust myself off, and actually get to doing the things I want to do. Okay, so just to check where I'm at, I need carbs kind of badly at this point, but everything else I've pretty much got a lock on so far. I uh, eventually will need fats because I haven't found much that gives you more in the way of fats. Other than the coconuts, speaking of the coconuts, let's, let's have a little drink here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, well, right, it's, it's, unfortunately, it is nighttime right now, so it's a little difficult to show you this, though the moon does seem to be rising, but, uh, you might be able to see by the moonlight, because it is getting a little bit brighter because of that. Um, I was wondering, I was curious, because the leaves that I've gathered before were referred to as banana leaves, and I remember cutting down a tree much like this, and I wondered, why are they called banana leaves if the trees don't actually have bananas, and I don't know how I missed this, because I'm sure I saw this sort of, like, purple flower sticking out before, um, but the trees do have bananas on them. I guess they sprout these every once in a while. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there are two <laughs> there are two bananas on this particular tree. Uh, so a couple things. One, I'm going to take these bananas for sure. Uh, hopefully they're not like sort of crazy evil bananas, which will poison me. But um, the other thing is I I'm kicking myself now because I think there was a banana tree right close to where my shelter was down here. I chopped that down. Uh, I chopped down at least one banana tree, if not two, possibly two. Now that I think about it, I did chop down two. And if they were all capable of sprouting those bananas, um, I'm feeling pretty stupid right now. So I haven't even tested these bananas though. So let's let's go in and see if this is. Now I'm hoping they look like regular bananas. <laughs> so it's like I'm hoping that I don't 
open them up and find out they contain spiders or something, but uh, we're going to eat them and see. Wow, that's a lot of carbs. That is a whole lot of carbs. That is, let's see, the watch. Uh, that's definitely gone up. That is exactly what I needed for the carbs here. So I'm going to eat the other banana right away. And um, yeah, when, when it gets light out again, I'm going to have to uh, definitely look up uh, bananas and try to find more of these particular banana trees because not, that is that is a perfect source of carbs. And I am definitely kicking myself now for chopping down the banana tree that I found before. What is... This wasn't... Was... I can't... Okay, this it's too dark to tell. <laughs> this is... This appears to be a cave. I swear I was... I walked by here before, didn't I? In the previous videos? This is... I'm not that far away from where the starting part is. I'm... I'm or from where the lake is. You can actually see the lake through the trees there. I'm sure I came here to collect stuff. Did this... There's... No, this didn't just open up right this is always this has always been here i don't want to walk in it because it's like i said it's too dark to see if this is like a full cave system or if it just ends there it seems like i can sort of just make out the end of the cave there the cave wall um but it's difficult for me to see uh, the monitor i'm looking at right now is is i'm actually looking now at the second monitor which is running obs and uh it it's not quite as dark as this one and it does seem to end here um, so yeah, this is just, this just ends. This is just like a, a small little cavernous area cut into the stone wall, which would be great for building a fire in. Oh, and there's obsidian. Okay, this is new. Obsidian, excellent. How did I miss this? The first thing I need to do when I wake up is come back here and check this out, because this looks like the perfect area for me to build a fire where the rain won't be able to get at it, so... Yeah, how I found this in the dead of night, but didn't find it during the, the bright light of day, I have no idea. Yeah, I must have walked right by that without realizing it. I, I must have been too focused on, like, finding things like rope and stuff like that, and uh, somehow I missed it completely during the day. Okay, so I've been gathering a few things around here, discovering some new areas as much as I can in the dark anyways. It is now past midnight, and I do want to get some sleep, because I would like to be able to do most of my stuff during the light of day. So let's go back to our little shelter and I am going to get some sleep for the night. Okay, so now that it's bright out, I'm going to go and, f and look at that little cave area again. And uh, I have a feeling, I mean, this is a nice little base camp area, uh, but it sucks for where the fire is. So maybe I'm gonna be able to move some stuff. Now, is there's, there's no more, there's no more bananas on this tree. Uh, there's another tree like it over here that doesn't seem to have any bananas on it. So this also explains why the coconuts in the sort of first game where I tried it, sort of tested out the game, uh, why there were coconuts here before, but there weren't during this game, because I guess it's sort of random when certain things spawn on certain types of trees. So you could play through one time and there'd be bananas just sort of sticking out on these trees, and you play through another time and they're not going to be there. So, um, so yeah, that's... Oh, and there's... An unknown nut. I remember these from the very tutorial part of it. Now, I wasn't brave enough to eat them. I'm not brave enough to eat them now. I'm, I'm, there, there was, we found nuts on the ground so far, and we found mushrooms. I'm definitely not going to eat the mushrooms anytime soon. I can see myself maybe uh, trying to dig into some of these, these nuts a little later on and see what they do for me, if they're going to poison me or whatever. I don't really have an, any way of dealing with poison, so I would actually like to find some tobacco leaves. That was not on my to-do list, but let's just go ahead and add that to my to-do list. Uh, I'm checking all the trees that look like they're coconut trees for coconuts, and they don't seem to have spawned any here. So maybe it's not... I don't know if it's on a day-night cycle or whatever. I may end up having to cross the bridge in order to try to find more coconuts, because I would definitely like to find more coconuts. But where is this little oh okay i can sort of see i don't know why it was so obvious in the night time but i can sort of see why i missed it during the day he's thirsty oh shoot oh shoot so let's see if this gathered up any water during the night it did so how much 10 nice okay okay yeah i would love to find a bunch more coconuts and just have a bunch of them spread here so i could have sort of like a all you can drink buffet when it comes to collected rainwater uh but for now we're just going to keep on plugging and gather up some more stuff actually you know what um, okay, so I could use pretty much every type of nutrient here, and it's, I think it's time, I think it's time, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try, 
Oh, the mushroom spoiled. Okay, so spoiled mushrooms. I have no idea if those are going to be useful or not. Uh, but I think it's time to try... Oh, try the unknown nuts. So I'm just going to pop these nuts in my mouth. And yes, I'm well aware of how that sounds. And see what it does for me. Oh, that's a good source of fats. That is a good source of fats. Look at that. I've eaten the unknown nut. And uh, it has provided me with... with. Yes, okay. So I know how to get proteins, I know how to get carbs, and I know how to get fats. And I, now I'm beginning to think I actually, did I cut down one of those nut trees as well too before? I think I did. I think there was another one. Okay, so I'm going to also attempt not to destroy any more of the natural resources in the area, which will keep me alive. And I'm going to keep that nut. There was another nut tree up here somewhere though. Is that one? Is that the same type of tree? Did you drop any? You dropped some. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. More nuts for me. Perfect. Okay, so uh, I'm good for, for... Oh, is there another one over here? Did you drop any nuts? Okay, don't fall off the cliff. I did that once before. It was embarrassing. Luckily, I did it off camera. Uh, I will probably do that at some point. I can see myself dying from a high fall, especially during the nighttime. Uh, I may brave over there in just a moment, but I think here I'm going to uh, build a fire in that area and use it as sort of a test to see if it's useful for staying out of the rain. So... Okay, so I'm in the cave here, and I'm going to set my fire right here. So, let's go ahead and... Ooh, there's a whole bunch of... Is there a bunch of new stuff that I can do now? Shelters, leaf beds, the hut, rope stands, small stick... Oh, this would be useful for uh, for the long term, when I have to do long stick stands. Okay. And log stands. Stone stands. A lot of stands. Everything stands. Planting boxes. Were these here before? I can't remember if they were in the book or not, but I will definitely do some... Oh, maybe I can plant a banana tree. I could I could resupply this area with, with useful trees. And what is it here that I didn't see before? There's... Okay, it must have been from one of the mushrooms that I picked up. And then here we've got hand drill, rope, and the bandage. The molinera leaf. I need to find uh, molinera. Stone blade, stone axe... Torch, okay. Stone spear, okay. So all that I remember. But for now, what I need to do is, is I came here to build a fire. So let's build that fire. Oh, oh, I can. Okay, good. Oh, for a second there, I didn't think I'd be able to build it in here. So we're going to put it here, and then I'll be inserting a bunch of the sticks because I gathered up a bunch. Okay, so it's raining now. So now is as good as time as any, I think, to uh, sort of test out this theory and uh, use the hand. Wait, do I have anything that I can use? Oh. Crap. I don't have any... Oh, no, I have dried leaves. Okay, never mind. Okay. Crisis averted because I already have what I need. So I need these dried leaves. I was looking in the wrong area. I was looking at food. But you're not going to eat dried leaves. So this is going to be a good test to see if it will survive the rain. It should because there doesn't seem to be any rain here. So it's ignited. Now, I don't have anything to cook, but that's not the point right now. And it's raining quite heavily, which also means I'm going to be able to get more water soon. And yeah, I'm completely dry in here. So I think I'm also going to build a bed right by this fire. Maybe I'll clear this area out completely and then um, move my base camp here. Though there is kind of some advantages to being right by the lake. So maybe I'll, I'll have sort of two camps. This will be my, this will be my, maybe my like, um, my vacation home where I go when the weather is bad in the normal living area. And uh, the other one's going to be my main home. But yeah, for now, this is, this looks like it's, it's staying, this fire is staying strong. Perfect. Um, so while that fire's raging, why don't I go get myself some protein, some fish, and uh, yeah, that sounds good. Now I need proteins while I have that fire going. Uh, so let's grab the trusty spear. And we're going to poise ourselves. Actually, there was something I wanted to try before. Um, I can can I, I can throw the spear, can't I? Well, it's you're right... You're kind of making it... Okay, well, let's make it sporting. That worked well. Oh, it did! It did! <laughs> I didn't think... Okay, I didn't see the fish die, so... Um, wait. Oh, I took the body. Oh, is it completely in my backpack? I took the entire fish? I did. Okay, let's harvest this. I'm going to need some meat. I'm actually going to do up two, because I do want a lot of proteins right now. Uh, so, I don't want to deplete... I don't... I wonder if I can completely deplete this area of fish. <sighs> Oh, well, that was, that was, that was like lightning reflexes there. Did you see that? Damn, I'm good. I'm getting really good at this. Uh, it was also completely by accident. I hit the wrong button just as it went by, but let's pretend that wasn't the case. 
We're going to go see if our fire is still going. If it is, I wonder if this means that I can just have a fire going continuously for like days on end as long as I feed it. Now, in the book, in the notebook, it does say about fire that fire may draw unwanted attention. So I'm not sure doing that the entire time is a good idea, but it actually seems kind of sort of like sheltered here. Like maybe it wouldn't be noticed, but who knows? Uh, it is still going, and the bar shows that it is, you know, got a lot of life left into it. So let's go ahead and cook up some fish. Okay, so I still need water, uh, but other than that, I'm, I'm doing pretty good for food. This is a lot better. Oh, there's my little lizard. Uh, let me know in the comment section whether or not you want to... Uh, should I keep the lizard as a pet, or should I try hunting it down? I mean, it's not really doing anything. I'm curious to see what I get from the lizard, but if you guys would rather I just sort of keep it around this home area, then uh, yeah, we'll keep it as a pet, and then we can even name it. Oh, there's, are there two, or are you just really quick? Oh, you're just really quick. Okay. Okay, so I'm clean, I'm in good condition, I'm well fed, I'm mostly hydrated, so I think now is probably a good time to sort of brave the other other side of this particular area across the footbridge. I'm just, I'm continually checking these trees for more coconuts. Um, see signs of the fact that maybe they can sprout on the side of the bridge. Uh, they may be set to only be on the side, but I don't know. I'm going to switch to my spear. Now that I know I can throw my spear, I'm going to switch this side, and i got to keep sort of an ear out and an eye out for snakes, because I do not want <laughs> to die. I don't want to die, um, but I do want to look around this area and find some stuff. I just... It's... It's so difficult. I mean, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe I should do this. Can I not clear this area? Oh, I can't. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so that flattens things out a bit and it allows me to see a little bit better. There's something, okay, that's just a, that's just a texture flicker. That's not an actual snake or something like that. So, uh, go back to the spear. Okay, spear at the ready. I don't see, no, no nuts around this tree. Um... Is that, there's like some sort of flower there. Is that a flower? That does appear to be a flower. Okay, so I'm, I saw something else too. Okay, so there you can see the snake. Now I don't know what its striking distance is, but I think I'm pretty safe back here. But we are going to, oh nice. Okay, so one, one throw, one kill. Excellent. I thought that might have to be some sort of epic battle, um, but blade root. I don't have a blade? What happened to my blade? I thought I had a blade. I do not have a blade. Okay, so let's go ahead. I have rocks, so let's go ahead and craft a blade. Okay, so now that I have a blade, let's go ahead and we can harvest the snake, and maybe I'll get some snake skin. I can make some nice boots or something like that. Let's see what we're gonna get. Maybe I can get poison? I can, uh, harvesting animals plus one. No, just meat. Just meat. Nothing but meat, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. But what is this? It's an unknown flower. I will take that unknown flower, sure. Okay. So it's an unknown flower. It's not the flower I wanted, but maybe it's the flower I need. Um, but I do want to try to find some of those bandage herbs. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Luckily, I saw that when I did, because for whatever reason, a shadow just passed over it. Was it the... Oh, it's just the clouds. <laughs> of course, there's clouds in this game. I'm still looking for snakes. Where this? What is that over there? There's another thing over there. Ooh, is that tobacco? That might be tobacco. Anyways, what we got here is the bandage leaves. And this is going to be super useful. There we go. Excellent. So I've gained the leaves here. Now I'm going to go over to... Keeping an ear out for rattlesnakes. Where was it? Okay, it's over there. I see it. Moving at a crawl is so annoying, but I do not want to sort of like stumble upon... And this, I think this is tobacco, right? Unknown flower and unknown herb. Okay, so not tobacco. I'm pretty sure. Let me just check my notebook. Tobacco. So that was to. Oh, no. Okay, no. The tobacco and the unknown herb are two different things. So I have no idea what that one's for. But, you know, that's that's part of the fun of this game is discovering some of the things. Which is one of the reasons why I've been trying to avoid looking up things online. Any nuts around here? Nope. Okay. Uh, still no coconuts, though, but I haven't explored over here because there was a snake here. It's starting to get dark again, so I'm worried about stumbling upon another snake. There, ooh, there's pretty flowers over there. Um, I don't see anything else that could be useful right now. 
You heard that squeak, right? Did we stumble upon like a dog toy or something? Like a chew toy? Or is there a small... That did not sound like a dangerous animal. It did not sound like the squeak of a jaguar. But there was definitely a squeak. Okay. Well, I don't see... From here, from my coward's position of away from where I heard the snake before, I don't see any more coconuts. So I'm just going to avoid that for now. And uh, go across the bridge without breaking my neck. What time is it? No, I still got I still got some time before midnight. I don't want to go to sleep before midnight because I don't want to wake up too early. Actually, you know what? Let's let's get a really early start to the day so I can get the most daylight because it seemed to be pretty light out when I woke up after midnight. So maybe if I go to sleep now, um, do I need to eat anything before bed? I need to drink some water before bed. So I think the big thing for tomorrow is going to be trying to find more coconuts because I would really like to have more of these bowls laying out so I can drink more water. Okay, so 8 o'clock in the morning, it's perfectly bright out, but it's not quite bright out come 5.30. It's getting there, but it's still kind of dark. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the sun to rise, first, man, this looks beautiful. That is that is a really nice, beautiful scene right there. Yeah, that is... Ah, I can sort of relax here for a while, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm, while I'm waiting for the sun to rise, I am going to go to the other side of that other bridge and see if I can't find more coconuts because, again, this does not seem to be spawning coconuts around here. Okay, so I still have to be cautious of snakes. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think once you kill one, it's gone forever. The, the, the problem is, I'm, I may have to, like, really clear-cut this area because hearing a snake but not being able to see it is so... F okay, there's that squeak again. We stepped on the dog toy again. I'll keep going down here. Uh, no bananas there. Nope. It's fine. Uh, oh, 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 that's what... That was a weird sound. Oh, what the hell is that thing? What the hell is that? What the hell? That's a weird noise. Okay, so that's there's something there, and it makes a strange noise. Is, is that making that much noise as it walks? And look, 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 they're like buddies, because it's like him and a little mouse walking together. Oh my god, they're friends. This is I'm, I'm living in a Disney movie. They seem like an odd couple, destined to be enemies. But they learn to live together in harmony. Welcome to Disney's green hell. Now, I, th that's obviously an armadillo, and I don't know why an uh, armadillo and a mouse would be enemies, but it just sounded good at the time. Uh, anyways, enough of that. Let's keep... There's a definite path down here, which is both exciting... And scary at the same time. Looking for flowers that'll indicate plants. Uh, ooh, okay, that's definitely that is definitely a dart frog. Those ones don't look like dart frogs. Those just look like regular sort of frogs that start jumping around. But there was one that definitely looked like a dart frog over there. Okay, I wonder if I can. How good is my aim? Okay, uh, I, I I don't think these spit. But that blue one definitely looks like the thing in the pictures. Stop moving so I can spear you. You can't hop all the time. Did you stop moving? Did I get it? Nope. Okay. Now I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get my spear back. Okay, got my spear back. You know what? Let's just leave you for now. Because uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's one thing if a jaguar suddenly pops out and kills me. It's a whole humiliation thing if a frog does me in in this game, so uh, I'm just going to leave that. Oh, Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. The noise. Is that the sound that armadillos make? Now I kind of want to kill the armadillo for scaring the crap out of me there. Eventually, I'm really going to have to explore, because, I mean, I have to get on with the actual um, storyline aspects of the game. So I need to find... Ooh, ooh. Is this... Oh, wait, is this the same plant? Or is this... Well, one way to find out. Tobacco fl Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, good. So now, now I'm a little less nervous. 
So we finally were able to find some tobacco. I, I thought maybe it was like that other undiscovered uh, herb before, but it wasn't. It was it was actual tobacco plant. Is there another one around here? But this makes me feel a little bit better because I should be able to survive a venomous bite at this point. So now I'm not going to have to cower from a frog, uh, which is kind of nice. And is there anything else around here that's useful? I shouldn't go straight too far from my home, but... Um, but I, th I think we can push our luck a little bit here now that I'm feeling pretty cocky because I have bandages or I have the ability to make bandages and I have the ability to heal. What is that? Okay, I thought maybe those are jaguars, but they're not. They're just some other type of... Um, see, if they didn't make some of the, the animals in this so damn adorable, I'd consider like finding out what they taste like, but they just look so cute. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that is a jaguar. That is a jaguar. That is, that is definitely a jaguar. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with the jaguar. So we're going to slowly walk the hell away from this thing. I don't know why I'm whispering in game. I don't know if the microphone picks up real, ooh, a plant. Can I, I can. Shouldn't probably be doing this. No space. There's an unknown herb there as well too. I've run out of space in my backpack. Okay, so I'm hiding behind a rock. Hopefully a jaguar won't find me because I need to make room. Uh, I can craft these into bandages, so let's do that. Maybe that'll save some room. Craft. Okay. I wish it would leave the crafting rock up in between. Uh, but it doesn't seem to. Excellent. And then I should be able to pick this up now and put it there. Nope. Okay, so tobacco leaves. I can make... I'll make a tobacco dressing. And that should save some room. So I'm going to make two tobacco dressings. Neither of which are going to help me from jaguar bites, as far as I can tell. Craft that. Um, let's make... Does this work? It does. A lily dressing. So we know it's a lily. Okay, so that did free up a lot of room. So now I should be able to grab this and put it in here. Okay, so I did. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was pretty, pretty good. I got to see a jaguar. So, uh, and my little forest friends here. And I didn't die. So that's one of the things on my checklist. Boom. So after doing all that exploring, after finding some of those uh, tobacco leaves, which is great, as well as some other things, and I also found some uh, other goodies in the forest. Thirsty. Yeah, he's already getting thirsty. I really need it to rain. Or I need to find... It either needs to rain or I need to be able to find another coconut. And I've had no luck finding coconuts. So, ooh, ooh, I just spotted them. See? Right there. Excellent, some coconuts. So, we're going to get our handy... We can use everything. I guess we can use a spear as well, too. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, so, this is our lucky day. So, we got we got two coconuts up in the tree, and we got the one down here. So, it's time to feast on some coconut water. So, we're going to drink this. Perfect timing. And then we want to harvest it. Okay. Harvest this. And harvest you. Okay, so I'm going to set these down quick before it starts to... Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do... Last time I walked away from a coconut tree, the coconuts disappeared after a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring these down first. Huh. Boom. Get that and immediately get my stone blade back. And the other one... Huh. Perfect. Man, I'm getting good at this. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to drink you as well, too. And I don't think I have room. I do have room. Notebook, entry, coconut, Biden. What? What is... Okay, let's... What is... Notebook. Oh, there we go. Co coconut, Biden. Coconut plus rope. Okay. It's also raining as well, too, which is nice. So, quit this. So, we're going to... Um, we'll craft... So can I drink it first? No, I don't want to harvest. So I, I need a full coconut, and I need... I do have some rope left, right? A rope. And that creates a coconut Biden. It's empty. Okay, so this is like a canteen? Like a coconut canteen? Okay, so I've laid out the coconuts that I have, or the half co coconut shells that I have. I do have water... I never noticed that, that there was a, a little gauge on the bottom. Effects of consumption, 10, 10 out of 10 hydration. I didn't notice it. I was always kind of curious. 
did that just recently show up because I've leveled up or something like that in, in my some of my skills? Or is am I just completely unobservant and never noticed that it showed the actual amount of hydration that's available in these? Uh, I'm going to have to get some sleep. But before I do that, I want to check out this the Biden thing. So is there a way to it's wow, it's so dark. <laughs> it's so dark right now. OK, so it's still pretty dark, but you can actually sort of make out the the half coconut shells there. And there are ones that have water. This one has 10 out of 10. So um, when I grab the Biden, it, it shows little symbols on them. So I think I can scoop up the water into the Biden. Oh, yes. Yeah, so now there's 10, 10 out of 40 hydration there. So I can gather it up for each of these. Uh, I'm not sure how many those ones don't have. Oh, they just have a little bit of hydration, so we'll do this. Um, or did I just put some into the... I put... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Gather it up. There we go. Okay, so... And it's raining again. So these are going to fill up. So I can actually fill this up. So this will hold 40 hydration for me. Okay, so this is really useful for me. Now, it is getting to be a bit late. I am quite tired from my energy bar, so I'm going to sleep for the night, and we'll start again in the morning. Okay, so since we've gotten everything on the to-do list and we still have some time, let's do a bit more exploring. I'm going to try to brave the environment here. Keep an ear out for snakes and hope I don't get bit. And if I get bit, I get bit. It's not the, not the end of the world now that I have a bandage that'll help with that. So I'm going to walk along here because I think this is going to give me a good view of both this area up here and this sort of trail down there and down there is where i saw the jaguar so i'm not sure if i want to go down there quite yet but um but yeah anyways we're gonna we're gonna sort of like do a little bit of exploring while we have some extra time and while i'm sort of like kind of nicely uh set up with a lot of, of goodies and food and stuff okay so we're gonna walk around here there seems to be a whole other area over there is that i see blue over there oh is that one of those frogs again What is that? <laughs> it's just, there's... What is it? What is... A dead parrot. So do... What? It's just a dead parrot? Can I take it? I can. I can take the parrot body. Why is there just a dead parrot in the middle? I mean, it could just die of natural causes, I guess. What can I do with it? I can either harvest or destroy it. Well, we'll harvest it. What do we get from... Okay, so we're also losing our sanity due to leeches. Um, so let's let's quickly deal with the leeches, the leech situation, which seems to be pretty bad if we're losing five sanity for it. Wow, okay. <sighs> Holy cow. Wow, that was a lot of... That's probably the most leeches I've had on me at one time. Okay. Uh, but I dropped... I dropped what? Parrot meat? Or macaw meat? Okay, so can I not... Do I not have room? I'll eat this banana and see if I can... Okay, now I can take the macaw meat. All right, so I can take the macaw meat. And uh, what else did I get for... Did I get anything else? I got, I got feathers for that as well, too. Nice. Okay, so I got feathers. I don't know what they're going to be useful for, but I got feathers and I got macaw meat. And I'm still worried about what killed that parrot. And this looks like an interesting plant. Can I chop this down? I can Unknown flower and unknown flower. Okay, so I got unknown flowers from that. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't an important plant to keep alive. Uh, do I go up or do I keep skirting around here? Let's switch back to the spear again. Come on, switch back to the spear. There we go. And I'm going to skirt around here and see what's over here. Ooh, okay. I thought I was going to fall there. So there's, there's that damn frog. That's the frog that's keeping me from going through that path. Got some stones. Ooh, I got a little bridge here. Okay, well, let's keep going. Um, I mean, I, just because there's a dead parrot doesn't mean there's going to be a dead me soon, right? Like, this is... Everything should be fine. Now everything's going to be fine. There's a nice little waterfall down there. Actually, those are like rapids more than waterfall. Um, oh, I'm falling! Are you shitting me? I wasn't moving. I wasn't even moving. I'm pretty sure that... 
please just tell me it's the one leg. Okay, so it is just the one leg. Okay, and how good of me to fall on the one rock as opposed to the water, which might have broken my fall. Okay, so I have to do something uh, about this wound. So I don't have any regular... Okay, so we're going to do... I don't know what the... Ugh, I'm just going to have to use a regular bandage. I just have to use a regular bandage because I, I know one's for poison. I don't know what the other ones are supposed to do for my leg. So I don't want to use something I don't know what it's for. Uh, I can you try I could try going with the unknown. I think for now we're just going to play it safe and I'm just going to bandage. No, I want that leg. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to bandage it up. I mean, that's what it did in the tutorial. So this should still work. Okay, so it does show that it's bandaged up. I don't know how this is going to affect my mobility. Okay, well, we knew something like that, something boneheaded like that was going to happen eventually, folks. So, uh, can I get down here without killing myself? Like, gently slide down on this hurt leg? Okay. Um, I thought I saw some crabs down. Oh, wait, the frog's here. Okay, so that's the dart frog over there. Okay, so we can do this. Okay, let's run. Go. Go. Get away from the dart frog. Okay. Okay. Everything is fine. There's more bananas, so I know if I need more bananas, I can get more bananas. I haven't found anything else dangerous yet. I don't hear anything. But I don't think jaguars are very noisy. I'm pretty sure I can deal with most things. Like, I can deal with a rattlesnake, but I think a jaguar is going to whoop my ass if I run into it. And then, are there no live parrots in this place? Are there only... Is that... Oh. Okay. Um, first, we're going to harvest a parrot. <laughs> to get more feathers. And then we found something here. It's um, a hut. A very large hut. A very large destroyed hut. Examine the tribe village. Okay, so this is the tribe's village. So is this the same tribe village that we were at before? Uh, but just before we got sort of chased away by something? Okay. I really hope I can find my way back from this place. Okay. Okay. So here we go. So this is... this is Glad we did a bit of exploring. So this is going to be good. Um, there's a fire. Backpack. Notebook entry, stone ring. Stone ring? Oh, okay, so we're, we can observe things in this village. Oh, please be friendly. Okay, yeah, you just like, you look like a big old teddy bear. Um, so we can observe things like this stone ring and then it allows us to craft it. Oh, that's gonna be very useful. Okay. Uh, now we have the backpack here, so let's open this burned backpack Ooh. and... It's a map. <laughs> it's a map, he says. Uh, that is a very common reaction to finding a map. Or, at least what's left of it. Okay. And then we have some burned pages. Uh, Alright, so I'm definitely going to have to use the read tool for this. Alright. Settle in, folks. We got a little bit of a story to tell. Religious rituals and healing ceremonies of the Yabakawa tribe can't go without the hallucinogenic brew called uh, Joy Juice, which means Lenia of the Souls in... Oh, wow. I'm the wrong person to read this. In... Uh, Quebecois. It's also made out of vine. More specifically, <laughs> oh, yeah, banister uh, caps, which contain hermine and harmaline. These substances alone have hallucinogenic properties, but to access the full power of that, other ingredients are added. Another vine um, with a cool name, with an equally high amount of psychedelics, leaves of the Psychotria shrub, and several other species characteristic of South America. There is no one determined recipe, which is why both the proportions and the used ingredients are chosen individually by each shaman. For the same reason, the effect of the mixture can vary dramatically. Details notwithstanding, the basis of the brew is always the vine, which first it has to be cleaned and softened by pounding with wooden mallets until the fibers remain. Plant material acquired this way is then put in a small cauldron of water and boiled over a fire. 
in the meantime, by the way, I really hope there's nothing sneaking up on me as I'm reading this. Um, in the meantime, brews made out of the other ingredients are prepared, each in a separate pot. Next, all brews are placed in one pot and boiled again until moist, moist? Until most of the water evaporates. Preparation of the brew normally takes all day, and the ceremony during which it is taken lasts all night. It's to be taken only in the presence of a shaman, who also serves as a guide. The effects of psychedelic substances usually last several hours. In that time, the participants of the ceremony experience a spiritual revelation. Amazing visions show them the purpose and true nature of the cosmos and the reason for their existence. Many people who have taken this product say that they have experienced a complete transformation and they intend to use the acquired secret knowledge to become a new, better human being. Few people have a bad reaction to the psychedelics and suffer from nightmares or even hellish visions. For most, it's a way to go through a deep religious experience and get closer to the mysteries of nature. Excellent. The shaman can also put the participants of the ritual into a trance, which allows them to contact the spirits of their ancestors and magical beings, who offer advice and serve as spiritual guides. Sometimes the brew also gives the ability to see the future or tap into the collective memory of an entire tribe or even humanity. Some gain memories of their past selves this way. Vomiting and diarrhea are both important elements of the ceremony. Beautiful. Induced by digesting the brew, they are supposed to cleanse the body of negative energy and emotions and quite literally expel them from the system. This may seem unpleasant. Seem unpleasant? Pretty sure it is unpleasant. But both vomiting and diarrhea have an important medical effect for the people living in a tropical jungle as they help clean the body of many dangerous parasites. Harmine and harmaline are practically lethal to these organisms. Although this product is mainly seen as a religious ritual, it's worth it to consider the medicinal use. Only recently has Western medicine started to appreciate this product. The first conducted studies show that it can significantly help patients suffering from treatment-resistant depression, anxiety, and trauma. The effects of the brew on memory is truly fascinating. Patients suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, often experience amnesia as they push the traumatic memories into their subconscious and aren't able to recall them. Those given this product not only reported regaining lost memories, but also stopped experiencing fear and got rid of panic attacks. This is probably due to the fact that this product activates the area in the brain responsible for memory and emotional reactions. It enhances the neuroplasticity of the brain and the process of neurogenesis and triggers some dope ass neurotransmission. These processes, in turn, lead to recovery of memory and memory consolidation. In the case of trauma, they additionally reprogram the emotional reaction and alleviate fear. The memory itself is intact, but the negative emotions associated with it are removed. It is true that the members of the Yabakawa who take this product exhibit good spirits, calmness and stability, and are better at social interactions. They also have excellent memory and concentration. Okay, interesting. Um, so I read a lot of that. And uh, now I need to, well, apparently I need to now make some of this in order to replace my memory. So that's interesting. Uh, what am I short on? I need water and I need proteins badly. So for now, I think, okay, so I can, I mean, I can look around here for a bit and see if there's anything interesting. Uh, new notebook entry. Let's see what, let's see what's new in this. Holy cow, this unlocked a lot. Okay, so now we need to make and drink the product to restore my memory. Um information about the village i don't want to consider what made that noise right now uh so this gives oh because so this is the procedure interesting and i found a new bamboo dryer recipe it's always great uh what else is here did i miss something else oh god that scared me the little creature walking by scared the crap out of me and the sound i can make arrows now nice okay this unlocked a lot fire and the stone ring which i saw before and the dryer okay Excellent. Okay, so I just realized I have not saved in a long time. So if I don't make it back alive now, I'm going to have to redo all of this. So the alternative is to create a shelter here. Um, yeah, I think it's also getting dark, so I think I want to try to head back as quickly as possible. So uh, I came through... What is this? Ritual Bowl. Okay, so I'm going to do all that stuff and then come back here and... Alrighty, so... I do have to get back because, once again, I did not save, and I'm just realizing this now, and I really need to get back, uh, get some protein in me, and save. So, I think I remember how to get back. Uh, it involves falling down a waterfall, which sucks, but uh, I think I can get back through here. 
I'm going to try not to run into anything dangerous. I'm going to keep an ear out for snakes. Okay, so there's a branch that I can probably go up there. All right, so I'm going to try to take a shortcut, and hopefully I can find my way back. Uh, because I really need to save this game now that I found all this. Oh, I need to get back. I need to get back. I need to get back before dark. Yeah, I, need, I know you need to rest. Uh, trust me, I get it. Um, okay, so this... this If we go across here quickly, we should be fine, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, it doesn't seem to be slippery this time. And you have to use a drink. Okay, a drink I think I can help you out with. Because I think I have a full thing of water here. Okay, so let's drink. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then I can make my way along the edge here. Whew, okay, so we found the village. We're on our way back. Uh, where I can fish up some protein. And then I can get some sleep. So yeah, overall, it's been a pretty productive few days in the green hell. We got everything on our to-do list done, unless I forgot something, which I don't think I did. And we were even able to explore a little bit further and further the story a little bit and find out what our next step is to finding Mia. And that is where we're going to end this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm really enjoying this game. I realize it's not the newest game out there. I will definitely be doing some newer games as well, too, that have just recently coming out in the future. But for now, I'm, I'm sort of getting my feet wet on the variety of content in the channel with the Green Hell, and I'm, I'm enjoying my time in the rainforest, even though it can be a bit scary and I can be a bit of a coward sometimes. But I, I love the, the mixture of the survival aspect and the crafting aspect of this game. Crafting has always been something in games that I've really enjoyed more than just about any other mechanic within the game, and this gives me sort of the best of both worlds. Anyways, if you have any tips or hints when it comes to the green hell, or if you have any suggestions of other games you'd like me to play, please let me know in the comment section below. And now with all that said, take care everyone, have a wonderful day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. May all your psychedelics be medicinal in nature, and I'll see you all again very soon.